Hello, Christine Niles here. Before we get into headlines, please remember you can watch this and all the videos we produce over at churchmilitant.com. There's Vortex, Headlines, Download, and all sorts of free and premium shows, not to mention daily news and commentary on current events relevant to the Catholic world. Please click the link after the video, and we'll see you at churchmilitant.com. Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Thursday, March 15th, 2018. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The Vatican is admitting it doctored a letter from Pope Benedict. The letter, which was read by the head of Vatican Communications on the eve of Pope Francis's five-year anniversary as Pope, claimed there was theological continuity between Benedict and Pope Francis. But the Vatican admitted yesterday that a photo of the letter had been altered, with the last paragraph blurred out in which Benedict said he had no time to read a set of books on Francis's theology and turned down the Vatican's request to write an endorsement. Thirteen more priests are being accused of sex abuse in Buffalo, New York. A law firm released the names Tuesday, adding to the already large number of clergy accused of abuse. A few weeks ago, the Diocese of Buffalo estimated it had about 120 reports of abuse revolving around 53 priests. And early this month, the diocese announced a victim's compensation fund to pay out victims of clerical molestation. A schismatic Chinese prelate is demanding loyalty to Beijing over Rome. Bishop Fang Zhenping of China's communist-controlled church announced Tuesday that the first duty of Chinese Catholics is toward their government, not the faith. His comments confirmed fears that a Vatican bid to recognize the communist-ruled church will destroy Catholicism in China. Cardinal Joseph Zen of Hong Kong, a faithful Catholic bishop, has blasted the proposal as suicide. Twitter is getting backlash for silencing conservative commentator Steven Crowder. Twitter claimed he had violated its rules against so-called hateful conduct after he posted a video of someone mocking transgenderism. The social media platform initially suspended his account for 12 hours. After Crowder bleeped out a bad word and re-uploaded the video, Twitter extended his suspension for seven days. A Maltese lawmaker is blasting calls to legalize abortion. Monday, Edwin Vassallo, a member of Malta's parliament, denounced a recent push to overturn the country's pro-life laws. Vassallo warned that the abortion debate exposes the Catholic country's social and spiritual decay, saying, quote, you need to be an animal to think that killing a vulnerable person is acceptable. Where is the Catholic church? Everyone's mouth is shut. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about teaming up. And check out the download, where the panel discusses the LA wreck. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And even better, head over to churchmilitant.com to watch headlines, vortex, download, and hundreds of hours of video, as well as read articles on our site and check out reporting you won't find at any other Catholic outfit. And don't forget, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, so please be sure to follow us there as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you over at churchmilitant.com. God bless.